Hello, my name is Amy Blumendahl. This is AB Fit Workouts, another 20 minute workout coming at you. I'm gonna be taking you through decreasing intervals today. So four exercises, three times through. First round is one minute long, each exercise. Second round is 45 seconds, each exercise. And the last round is 30 seconds. We're gonna pump up that intensity a little bit on that last short round. All you need today are dumbbells, a um, mat is optional, and water nearby for breaks. Let's start with a nice gentle warm up here. Let's go with a nice wide stance, wider than shoulders, and shift it left to right. Inhale down, exhale up. Core is strong. Sink however low you are comfortable for this. That's always something that you are in charge of, range of motion and intensity. I'll give you some guidance for intensity, but you are always in charge. You can scale it back as, as much as you need to. One more left to right. This warm up and cool down at the end, they're both pretty short. Bring it up, let's march it out, reach and pull. We wanna keep it close to that 20 minute mark if we can. So if you need a longer warm up, you can pause the video, warm up for a couple more minutes, repeat the movements that we did or do your own thing and then press play, hop back in. You can always take the first round a little bit lighter as well. Switch it to hamstring curl in three, two, one, here we go, switch it up. Reach and pull horizontal with those arms, warm up chest and back. Our first round is gonna be more strength based. Second round is kind of going to be a little bit of a mix of both cardio and strength. We'll change up the variations of the movements a little bit just to get a little bit more intensity. And then last round is going to be the highest intensity of the three rounds. Let's go three, two, squats in one. Here we go. Push those hips back. Nice job. Inhale down. Exhale up. Stay tall through that upper body. Shoulders back and down. Nice job. Feet are about shoulder width apart, but you can go a little bit wider. Those toes can go out as long as the knees follow with them. One more squat here. All right, let's step it back. Bring that opposite hand to the floor and twist over that front leg. Reach. Move back leg is long and strong. You can sweep that arm up and over for some T-spine mobility. One more. Step it together, all the way up, inhale. Exhale, step it back, opposite side. Twist open towards that front leg. Arm sweep. Pelvis should be really stable here. We're rotating through that T-spine. One more, up and over. Step it together, round it up. Let's go into some hip circles here. Start small and get bigger. Just a couple in each direction. Let's switch. One more. And let's end it with some jumping jacks here. You can go single or double leg. Here we go. You can mix it up if you want. Double for a couple. Single for a couple. Soft landings. Anytime we're doing impact, we want to make sure we're landing softly. Those knees, ankles, hips are all slightly flexed, bent. One. Here's five, four, three, two, one. All right, quick sip of water if you need it really quick. We have four exercises, four intervals. Our first round is gonna be one minute each. We're gonna start with a squat press. So grab that, grabbing those dumbbells, front rack them on those shoulders. We're gonna squat it out, press it up. You can do one or both arms at a time. If you want to alternate those arms, you can do that. All right, let's go in three, two, one. Here we go, one minute interval. Squat it up, exhale, press it up. These are two separate movements this round. So press it up, come back, squat it down. Inhale down, exhale up. Again, range of motion's up to you. If you can go into a nice deep squat with good form, you go for it. If you need to make it more shallow, that's better for you, go ahead. We're front racking those dumbbells, pushing through those heels or midfoot, whatever feels more stable for you. Exhale, connect to the core as you come up. 
making sure on that press that we're not overarching or flaring that rib cage out. Keep everything stacked in a nice straight line. Yes. These one minute intervals are longer, so we're getting lots of reps. Not as heavy of lifting on this first round. Effort level maybe six or so, maybe seven effort level on a scale of one to 10. Three, two, and one. We're going into a core. Bring it down to a plank. We're gonna go slow mountain climbers. So bring that knee in one at a time. Here we go. Knee in, come back. You can elevate this up on a chair or a bench. Just pulling that knee underneath. You can make this a little bit more cardio if you want to by picking up the pace. Shoulders over hands a little, bending those elbows. Nice job, team. Breathe in through it as best you can. Shoulders down away from the ears. We don't want to hold our breath here. Good. Keep those hips down. We don't want them sneaking up. We don't want them sinking down. Let's find that neutral spine, neutral pelvis. Nice job. Take breaks if you need it. One minute's a long time. Nice job. One, stand it up, take your time, don't make yourself dizzy. Grab those dumbbells again. And be a bent over position, narrow stance, maybe hip width. And here we go. We're gonna go double arm, single arm. So single, single, double. Dumbbell to hip, elbow to ceiling. Double, double, or single, single, double. Narrow row, so we're close to our own body. Shoulders back and down. Nice job. If you would like to split your stance here for a little bit less low back pressure, you can add that in. 30 seconds to go. Exhale up, inhale down, control. Maintain that neutral spine through the neck. So we don't wanna go chin to chest or lift it up. Find that neutral through that neck. Maybe a couple more reps, yes. One to two counts up, one to two counts down. Three, two, one. All right, we're gonna be going into a Romanian deadlift with a single dumbbell. So if you gotta have your dumbbell, here we go. So hinge down, squeeze it up. So this is gonna turn into a kettlebell swing or a dumbbell swing. But for now, we're just doing a slow controlled Romanian deadlift. Push those hips back, stances maybe hip width, shoulders back and down. Let that weight travel right alongside the body to about knee or shin height. Press through the heels or midfoot, squeeze those glutes and hamstrings, get those hips back up to neutral. Inhale up, squeeze those armpits. Or exhale it up, rather. Inhale down. Nice job, team, looking good. Yes, you can, come on. We're getting that posterior chain here. Last 10 seconds, maybe three more reps. Little break here after this. Our one minute round is done in three, two, one. All right, one minute break. Quick sip of water if you need it. We're gonna pick up the pace just a little bit. So the squat press is gonna kinda of turn into more of a thruster. So you can go down to one weight if you want to or keep that double dumbbell. So it's gonna turn into squat thrust. So you can still separate it if you need a little break, squat press. But try to make it a little bit more continuous this round. The core mountain climbers, we're just gonna to start to pick up the pace a little bit. This row, we're gonna add in more double arms rather than single arms, so more double arms. And then the kettlebell swing is gonna turn into here. So you can add those in for the second half of this next, this next round if you'd like. All right, team. Three, two, one. Starting with squat press. Here we go, squat press or thruster. 
If you'd rather stay with the squat press separated, you can do that. You don't have to add this intensity if you don't want to. These reps, these intervals are 45 seconds long. The more continuous you make it, the more intensity you're gonna get. Powerful move upward. Guide that weight back down if you're making it more continuous. Getting a little bit more cardio base here. Five, four, three, two, one. Mountain climbers. I'm gonna show an elevated variation here. Three, two, and one. Here we go. So you determine your pace here. I'm just giving you guidance. Customize it for you. Nice job, 30 seconds to go. Woo! Breathe, 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 you got this. Core is nice and strong, maintain that solid foundation. 20 seconds to go, over halfway. Yes, you can. Come on, last little bit here. We got rows next. Four, three, two, and one. Single, single, maybe double, double, if you like that pattern. Nice job, still under control. We're not picking up the pace for this one. Just adding in more doubles. Nice job. We're squeezing between the shoulder blades on the back body. We're working the back of the shoulder and the lats. That wraps around the side body to the back. Couple more. Exhale on that lift. Core and pelvic floor engagement. Yes, you can. Four, three, two, one. All right. Kettlebell swing, or if you prefer the RDLs, you can do that. Here's three, two, one. Here we go. I'm gonna start off with Romanian deadlifts for maybe five reps. And then I'm gonna switch it over to kettlebell swing. All right. Finding some momentum here for swings. Letting that dumbbell or kettlebell come right underneath my body. I'm hinging, not much bend in my knee. Squeezing those glutes, thrusting those hips forward. Arms are just guiding the weight. No lifting with those arms. Exhale on that thrust. Inhale on that return. Nice job, we're coming to neutral. We don't wanna overextend, especially in that pelvis, low back, three, two, one. All right, team. So just final minute of rest here, going into our 30 second round. Try to make this the most intense round of the workout. Get that heart rate going. Find maybe an eight effort level on a scale of one to 10, so pretty tough, but it's only 30 seconds. Starting with squat thrust or squat press. 30 seconds and we're going. All right, 15 seconds. Start getting that dumbbell ready, or two dumbbells if you're going two dumbbells. Last time through, 30 second intervals. Four intervals to go. Here's three, two, one. Here we go. These are gonna feel super short compared to what we just did, round one and two. So go for it if you can. Last 10 seconds, yes, come on. Four, three, two, one. Mountain climbers. Get ready, three, two, one. 
two, one, here we go. Nice and steady, come on, yes you can. Find that breath, use it to help you. Yes, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, we're going to rows. Double arm the whole time if you can. Let's go. Still two counts in each direction. Take your time. Make them count. Nice job. Dumbbells to hips. Woo! Hold that elbow up. Four, three, two, one. Kettlebell or dumbbell swings to finish. <clears throat> Cut it up. Three, two, one. Let's go. Kettlebell swings. If you're new to them, they take practice. So if it feels weird at first or off, it's all right. The more you do them, the better you get, just like anything. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. All right, team. Give you 30 seconds here. We're going to stretch and cool down just for a couple minutes. Keep this workout at 20 minutes. Kiss. <clears throat> Quick sip of water. All right, let's roll through those shoulders. Quick and effective 20-minute workouts are where it's at. Let's rotate the other direction. All right, shake it out. Grab the fingers in between. Interlace the fingers in between. Lift it up. Chest and back stretch. Chest and front of the shoulder stretch. And release. Hamstrings here. Push the heel to the floor. Push those hips back. Pull those toes up. Get that breath back under control. Inhale up through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Let's switch sides. And release. Inhale those arms up, side body stretch. Grab one wrist. Create length and expansion through that side body. Rotate that upper body so that armpit is facing up towards the ceiling. One more breath here. Inhale up. Exhale, release and switch. And over to the other side. One more breath here. Inhale, vertical. Exhale, release down. Step it back into a nice lunge. Go ahead and sit to half kneel. And shift it forward. And pull it back. Just a little dynamic hip flexor. You can lift those toes up and get a little hamstring stretch as well. We want to move slow and intentional here. No bouncing or moving quickly. And stay here. Bring that hand behind the opposite hand behind your head. We're just going to go elbow to knee or shin and open up. One more. And then switch to the other side. Dynamic hip flexor to hamstring. Nice job. Feels so good on those hips. That posterior chain. One more. Shift it forward. Shift it back. Hand behind the head. T-spine. 
rotating through that T-spine, trying to keep that pelvis nice and neutral. One more. Bring those feet back together underneath the hips. Round it up. Last big inhale, vertical, full body stretch. Exhale, release down. Thanks so much for pressing play on the workout today. Happy to have you. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, go ahead and drop it in the comment box below. Like and share this workout out and subscribe to my channel, everybody. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.